In this video, I will be showing you four of my Corgi 999 Police Land Rover Defenders that I have. Um, so here we go. This first one says um, RAF, and I believe it's for the Royal Air Force. And this uh, Land Rover, I actually can't take any of them out as they are wired into their uh, boxes. It's pretty good, I think. Keeps it very, it's more. Uh, meant as a model and not to be played with especially with the fragile parts, but I will say um, This one looks really realistic to me. Uh, I've never actually seen a Police Land Rover like this one where you only have mirrors at the front, but not um, behind where the driver and passenger would sit but I would definitely uh, with not having seen one, I kind of think it does look realistic, though. Um, got the little light bar on top, and then uh, not sure about that one light. I do think it's a bit unusual, though, to see the spare tire on on the hood, because usually they're on the bottom at the back, but uh, I guess that's how they chose to design this one. Or maybe that's how they do it in reality, I'm not sure, but... Um, and it's basically just plain looking, but I still like it as, um, one of the police vehicles for my 999 series collection. Um, it's definitely an interesting make and a little different, but, you know, for sure, I definitely think that this one is a very excellent looking model. So that's a good one. Um... In this one, this is a police service of Northern Ireland uh, Land Rover. And this one, I think, looks more realistic um, as far because usually when you see police vehicles, um, you know, usually in the back, they have the windows where the, when they're taking someone to jail, they have the um, the windows to roll down for the for them to look out at in the back. Um Again, they have this little light. This one also has the little light on top. And I noticed that the light bar is more towards the back and not right above where the passenger and driver would sit. And the roof kind of dips down a little bit up here. I'm not too sure why that is, but and I guess that's just the design. I have to say, I've never seen any police vehicles that have uh, blue and yellow like this. Uh, that's what I think is such a different take on this one because, you know, usually you never stop to think about police vehicles with their colors. You know, usually you think, you know, maybe black and white or, you know, blue. This one is a little different. And even on the hood, um, I have to say that that's definitely different too. But I think that's what makes it a very special and unique model. And even in reality, it looks real good. Also says police in the window. It's got the symbol. So I would definitely say that, um, you know, this is definitely quite another interesting model. And I like how realistic it looks. So it's a pretty interesting uh, make for them. And uh, definitely like this one. I have here a Land Rover RUC from Ulster. And this one, again, kind of the same thing. Um, there's no windows in the back. I don't, I, don't, you know, I don't know anything about those police Land Rovers. I guess it's different everywhere. But uh, anyway... Um, Definitely uh, kind of similar to the Northern Ireland one, the light bar in the back. But again, this one's definitely just plain and, you know, I, it does have the yellow across, the yellow stripe going down the side, and that kind of gives it interesting. And it's got the, it says Crime Stoppers and some number up there. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
I don't know if that's like the coat of arms or what that is right there on the door, but um, I definitely have to say, even though um, all the make, uh, you know, all the makes are different, and I think definitely for sure um, that's what makes all of them really special and unique. So I definitely say that this one um, definitely an interesting model. So that's a good one. And then for my last video, or my last one in the video, this one is from Lancashire, England. And this one I definitely like quite a bit for sure. It definitely stands out. It's got the police symbol on the side of the door. Um, two, uh, looks like overlights or something. Not sure what those are. And then it's got uh, the one small light in the back. And this one, I have to say, um, definitely quite the take. Uh, I like the design and the look of it, and I like that it's you know got the color blue and it's got that coat of arms or the police symbol on it. I think it definitely makes it stand out, so it's definitely an interesting run. Um, not sure what the BD90LR stands for, what that's all about, but I would say for sure... Um, Corgi really hit, did, um, for their 999 Police Series Land Rovers, the four, these four are all real interesting, and how each and every one of them is unique and different in their own way. Um, the 999 Series, I think, is an interesting collection because it shows a different variety of what they probably look like back in, you know, maybe the 50s and 60s, as well as, you know, maybe even today. Hope you enjoyed my video.